Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be building the Bentley Continental from The Fate of the Furious, aka Fast 8. Now, to create this build, you want to go and purchase yourself an Anis Windsor. Uh, you'll find that in the Legendary Motorsports website, and it's going to cost you $845,000. So it's not cheap by any means. This is a motherfucking expensive vehicle, and that came along with the uh, part one of the Ill Gotten Gains update. So, like I said, guys, if you do want to create this build, all you have to do is go and purchase your Anis Windsor. Meet me back in LS Customs and I'll show you how to do the rest. So as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see that the Anis Windsor is in the coupes category. So as always guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor, then we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes. For the engine, we want to get a level 4 engine upgrade, we're going to skip past the explosives and the horn, we're going to go straight to the lights. Headlights, we're going to purchase the Xeon headlights but we're going to skip a neon kit for this build. Then we go straight down to the respray. Now as you can see, my car has a motherfucking ugly livery on this. Uh, fuck knows what Rockstar were thinking when they added these ugly ass liveries to this beautiful looking car. I mean, what the fuck are these, man? If anyone bought this and this wind, uh, this and this Windsor for the price you pay for it and slapped one of these fucking liveries on it, man, you need a slap. I mean, what, what the fuck, are, what are these? They're just fucking horrible. So we are going to go blank canvas and remove that monstrosity. Uh, then we're going to go to the primary color, classic, and then you want to change it to frost white. Next, we're going to go on to the secondary color. You also want to go into classic, but on this one, we're going to change it to this sunset red. Next, we're going to move on to the suspension. You want to get the competition suspension. For the transmission, you want to get a race transmission and obviously turbo tuning. Now for the wheels guys, you are going to wheel type and down to SUV, go into the chrome rims. Uh, alternatively, if you can't afford the chrome rims, this will work in alloy, but I highly suggest chrome if you can afford it. And then you want to go and purchase these Dash VIP rims. And whilst you're here, you are going to tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, you are going to windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go my bros, there is my variation of the Bentley Continental from the Fate of the Furious, aka Fast and the Furious 8. Now man, you can't go wrong with the Innis Windsor, it's obviously based around a Bentley in real life, just take a look at the shape of this motherfucker. The rear lights pretty much look identical man to be honest, and just the rear of the car looks identical. The front of it is a little bit more square than the one um, from the film, but I can see past that. Uh, just because the overall shape of the car is, is fucking spot on, the rear tail lights are spot on, and the uh, the paintwork as well, where you can get how just how it goes from the from the rear of the car all the way over the roof and down to the hood of the car uh, in red, and then you can get the side panels in white. It just just looks immense, man. In my opinion, I think I've done a really good job of uh, recreating the Bentley Continental inside a GTA and using the Innis Windsor is a plus because it is a fucking beautiful car and it, it drives really well too in my opinion I think it's really really good to drive uh, but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please smash it a like and if you haven't already subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content and until next time I'm out. Adios.